G'day, it's Roddy from the CFGs. You're listening or watching Happy Man. Awesome. Thanks, man. So we'll jump straight into well, things. Um, you've got your National Lights Out tour kicking off this weekend in Sydney. And it's a monster. Yeah. You've got a lot of stops in there. So um, are you keen to get the ball rolling and head back out there again? Yeah, uh, yeah, we are. I mean, we did our first run earlier in the year and then we mm-hmm. had a bit of time off and we're all sort of doing different things. We're still, we're still writing songs, actually, for, for our album. So um, this is a nice break to get out on the road. It's a, it's a really good break. And, um, and we're always, you know, chanting out the bit to sort of get out there. We love it. Yeah. It's your thing. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any surprises yeah, 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 in store totally. for us? Um, well, we're, we're going we're gonna to play a few new songs, you know, um, on the set and, and change things up a little bit, perhaps some songs you haven't heard for a while. Cool. Some of our older stuff and, and just a bit of everything, you know. We, we like to keep it interesting ourselves too, so, yeah. yeah. of course. Yeah, absolutely. Well, on that note, uh, Lights Out is a great song. Like, you guys are really sounding fucking great. Oh. <laughs> and, um, Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. it. No, it really is awesome. I was, um, was getting into it earlier today. And, um, so, you yeah, talk, cool. about an, uh, talk about an album. Is it in the works, or are you just happy drip-feeding us tasty singles for the time being? Um, we're, we're definitely shooting for an album. So, we've, we've been in the studio, and we're... What do we do? I think we recorded about six or seven songs. Yep. Um, so we're, it, 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 the, the way we used to do things, you, you would just sit there and do your album and then roll a single and go for it. Yep. But we figured we'd do a single and keep, and keep, um, and keep recording. So we're back in, in December and we should have it done by then. Ooh. Yeah. Excellent. So it's just sort of drip feeding while we're in. in yeah, yeah, totally right. We're, we're really excited. Yeah. We're going to we, We'd always sort of talked about it. And I, I was, I'm, I'm from the whole, I like to do sort of album sort of thing. And, and Sarah is so quick and, and yeah. always busy and just wants to, you know, jump into things so quickly. It's like, let's do a single. Let's get it out there. Let's do it. And, and I'm down for that. Yeah. Um, but I thought, if we can just apply ourselves a little bit more, we can get an album out of it, which is what we've done, and, and I'm, you know, stoked that we're at that point. Yep. No, absolutely. Enjoy the process. <laughs> so just getting out there and yeah, going, yeah, oh, 100%. it's out there now. <laughs> yeah, it's starting Yeah, again. yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So it has to be an amazing feeling to share something so successful with someone like Sarah, who's become practically family to you. Um, after all yeah, the yeah, sure. uh, amazing things you've accomplished and all the accolades that you've got under your belt, what's the proudest moment that you always circle back to and just go, I can't believe that we did this? You know, we were rehearsing last night. Yeah. And and there's certain parts of songs that we tend to just look at each other and it's just moments, no words are needed. Yeah. And it's there, there's a confidence... Uh, there's there's things on the way that you accomplish that you kind of go that's awesome and we you know high five kind of moments and stuff like that we we dig it I think I think doing our first album was a high highlight for us you know or our first EP mm-hmm. now last night Sarah was talking to me about how the first time she heard Dan again on the radio yeah. And, and she was in a terrible mood. And oh. we, so we reminisce about stuff like this all the time. Oh. So when we're actually playing, there's moments we look at each other and you'll see a smile. Yeah. And it's, we're, we're, it's like we're sort of thinking the same thing at the same point in the song or whatever. It's just kind of weird. Yeah. But we've had a working relationship for, what, you know, a few years now. And, um, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. So I, I would say, look, I'd say just getting the first sort of EP or album done and then I would say it's just the longevity of still doing it. Yeah. Um, I'm really proud of the fact that we're still out there and still doing it. Yeah. Oh, you should be. It's like it's a, mm. it's a huge thing and not many people can say that they've done that. Like, yeah. And yeah, yeah, just, for um, sure. Sharing those moments that you just look at each other on stage and just go, yeah. Like, yeah. You can't teach yeah, that. Yeah, totally You've got to right. actually do it, you know. hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. You're so right. Yeah, you can't. You can't. That, that comes from just grinding it and yeah. grinding it year after year, you know, doing the same thing. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Love it. So, yeah. Um, yeah. 
Last time I spoke with Sarah actually was in December and it was right before you guys went on your money tour. And um, there, oh, was, yeah. there was a lot going on. Like you guys were recording, there's new band members getting thrown into the mix. So how are you That's feeling? Right. Um, yeah. yeah, it was, um, she was really excited though. Like it was like a, yeah, let's do this, which is amazing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's really good. How's it all like settled in? You feeling like it's a... Yeah, it's, it's, it's going great. And, and um, you know, uh, the, the, we, so we, we have new band members, so yeah. we'll, we'll talk, yeah, we'll happen to talk about that too. So, we, mm. yeah, we've got a new drummer, Murray Sheridan. Yep. Um, he's from the Central Coast. And a local guy, uh, Cam, who uh, was on my sort of radar there for a bit. And um, Dave joined the band. And, uh, and they're fantastic players. Um, we've been blessed, actually, to have players that are so great yeah. to play with this whole time. And eventually, you know, it's like anything, it's like a football team or whatever, you know, some people sort of drift off and some want to be around for the ride and some don't. So that's kind of where we're at with that. Um, so the past members, you know, decide to to go go in their direction and what have you, and we, we sort of were happy that we found some people to fill the shoes because they were big yeah. shoes to fill. Those guys were good, good, great players yeah. and we've, we've got some great players back in. So the whole vibe of the band is actually on par with each other. It's, cool. it's like we're all rolling. It's really good. It's exciting. It's it's musical. It's it's creative. It's organic. You know, it's great. Yeah. That's cool. And it, it's hard to have people slot in that are on the same page as you as well and it actually works. Like... I would imagine that would be absolutely terrifying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, big time. Yeah, you've worked really hard to get where you are, so to build yeah, trust yeah, in yeah, the new was, members. Was yeah. I, I'm the warrior. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm the dude that worries. Okay? Yeah. The plan's yeah. like, yeah, let's do it. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm the guy that sits back and goes, oh, I'll, I'll come up with a, maybe, oh, let me think about it for 24 hours, you know. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was a bit of a worry, but we, uh, you yeah, know, we didn't get this far from just sort of, you know, uh, not taking risks and not not sort of you know um, forging forward really yeah you know yeah hundred percent yeah you got to risk it mm. to keep going hey <laughs> yeah for sure yeah so uh, Super Jesus in my opinion it's a massive Australian icon and like a staple to the Australian diet if you like <laughs> do you find that you're mm, like your you. big um, OG fans they are they're moving with you or do they still come back and just pine for your old stuff and go oh, like <laughs> We don't get it. We just want no, to play we're, this. No, we're, we're very, yeah, I dig it. We're, we're very lucky. I mean, um, I saw, so we did a sumo 20th anniversary, yeah. 25th anniversary. Yeah, we, so we did that, and um, there was a lot of people out nostalgically sort of going back to that album, which was cool. Yeah, cool. And a lot of stayed around. And we do have people from there that have, that have just gone with the band. Yeah. You know, and we see them the whole way, and it's it's really it's really um you know great that yeah. that we can take one a ride with us, yeah. and they're enjoying it. You know, we we ask a lot of questions too. You know, we don't just sort of draw off our own ass when it, when it comes to sort of writing music. You know, we mm -hmm. we tend to bounce it off people and see how they feel, and you know, I mean, we we get a tick yeah. that yeah, it is super juicy, and, and I think. Um, the DNA of McLeod and myself sort of writing songs and what have you um, is always going to be there and mm -hmm. you know once, once Sarah sort of starts singing on it it, it is Sujins and yeah. these people and most of the people that do come along have, have been there for the long haul so it's, we're, we're very lucky yeah very that's lucky. cool you must see a lot of familiar faces at your show girl I've been seeing this guy for mm. years <laughs> I know yeah, you yeah yeah totally right <laughs> yeah Totally right. And we see them at all places too. I saw, saw you was in Melbourne in yeah. 1998. Oh, and what are you doing in Perth? You know, so yeah. all of a sudden you're on a level now where, oh, you know, I got married and oh, somebody has got <laughs> kids. And, you know, so you hear everybody's life yeah. you know, after show sort of thing sometimes. So it's kind of cool. And, and what, what also is great is people sort of the connection that people have with certain times of the band. You yeah. know, so listening to, oh, when that album came out, I was going through uni. When this album came out, I was I was working overseas or, you know, so yeah. you hear about it. You hear everyone's, you know, sort of thing about what, what the music has meant to them. So it's, yeah. it's kind of cool. That is cool. It's like um, you've quite literally yeah. soundtracked their life and you've just taken them straight back yeah. to that moment again, which is, yeah, yeah. it's a really cool thing. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've been following your social media and seeing your pure excitement and joy. Like the photos you put up together, you guys are having a good time. So like, again, you can't fake it. Mm-hmm. It, it just, it pours out of you. Right. You've kind of already answered this for me, but how do you keep like the fire burning? Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm sort of the guy, I, I'm a fan of the band. Yeah. Okay. First and foremost, I, I, and Sarah will be the first one to tell you that. I'm <laughs> love, so when she needs to sort of feel, feel, you know, stoke the fire, it should come to me. Yeah. And I'll say, look, yep. we've got this, we've got that. And, and I think just that relationship has kind of worked and it radiates. So we go to a rehearsal room or we go on, on stage and, and it just sort of works and, we're still freaked out that people are there. You know, we're still looking at each other going, wow. You know, so I think, I think when you're sort of doing it for right reasons, it, it, it's not hard, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's I think, pure I think we just enjoy, yeah, yeah, totally right. And we enjoy it and we've got a good, yeah, we've been through a lot of shit together and, you know, just, just with bands and, you know, just being in a band, you know, yeah. like, like many stories out there, I guess. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we just we just keep keep the fire sort of burning and yep. keep writing songs and and keep focused. That's that's what it is. That's cool. Yeah. I suppose being in a band is like literally a relationship. You got to tend to it. You need to have brutal. respect. You need to yeah, it's brutal yeah. Oh, yeah <laughs> Breaks yeah. your heart it in places. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I mean, it's, I question my sanity sometimes. <laughs> you know, what do I do? Really <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> Oh, do you have anything left on your bucket list to tick off, or are you just happy doing what you're doing? I'm happy doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, I, I sort of don't sort of set too many goals to to go and do. I mean, I think my next goal would be to get the album out. I'll, I'll yeah. be happy when that comes out. You know. So yeah, there's not too too much that I'm not you know grateful for or whatever we've done today. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. Good answer. So, curiosity yeah. question. You said Sarah's a busy bee. She's always running around doing things, and she's yeah. a very creative person, yeah. so she's doing a lot. What do you do in the downtime, mm-hmm. so to speak, when she's off doing Sarah things? What do you guys do? Oh, yeah, well, I'm sort of, like, I've got music sort of studio at home. Oh, So nice. I'm always in there, sort of, yeah, yeah, just to set up, you know, but it's, it's kind of good, and so I'm keeping myself active with that, and I've been playing a few shows here and there with, different sort of people and cool. you know it's, yeah. it's been yeah it's, it's been really good i just played a show recently with um rob riley from rose tattoo this old, nice. old guitar yeah. from rose tattoo, and it was so bad. good and, and um and um yeah and, and paul wheel from ice house he was yeah. on drums and and we had dave gleason singing so it, awesome. it was just you know when you get to those to, to these sorts of people they're all individual and they do their own thing and they've been in it for years, you know, you're dealing with the real lifers. <laughs> yeah. And it's just fantastic. So I've been doing stuff like that and, and then, like I say, just writing songs and trying to be creative for, them, for the album. And, and so that's what I tend to do. That's, yeah. That's awesome. Like you've got access to all these amazing people and yeah. <laughs> I couldn't yeah, imagine yeah, how much fun sure. you could have, really. <laughs> so what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, Let's do yeah. something. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, the stories. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? The stories are unbelievable. I bet. I yeah. bet. Yeah, when's yeah, the memoir funny. coming out? <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, have you started up doing a little Spotify playlist um, from bands that we've been interviewing? Would you mind partaking? Sure. Sure. All right, so I've got three songs to name. And one of them is the name when you're getting ready to go out and party. What's your go-to song? Chuck it on, get you in the mood every time, ready to go. Um, you know what? I've been listening to a lot of um, Buck Cherry lately. Nice. Love yeah. it. So Excellent. anything from there. Yep, Buck go Cherry. Out. Tick. Yeah. That works. One song you yeah. might use to save your marriage. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, I, I don't know. Probably some Rod Stewart, perhaps. I don't know. Oh, Rod Stewart, nice. Do you put the wig on? <laughs> Go all out with your look. Yeah, yeah the, old, the, the old faces, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, and last one is a song that could potentially end your marriage. 
What's the ultimate destroyer? Um, um, the ultimate destroyer would be, uh, 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 good, good question. Um, I'm not sure. Probably some Metallica tends to just <laughs> get the, get, get, you know, get the vibe, get, yeah. get sort of gnarly around the joint. Yeah, get that electric. Sort of, yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, well, thank you so much. I've, I've really enjoyed this and I was really looking oh, forward to meeting you as well. You. So I'm absolutely oh, stoked. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, thanks very much for having me. It's been great. Excellent. And all the best on your tour. Yeah, I'm going to um, I'm gonna try and get to you. the zoo next Sunday in Brisbane. Come watch out. So that'll be oh, good. Oh, sweet as. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come up say hi if you do get out. I will. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, I'd love to do yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. Oh, awesome. Well, That'd all the great. best. It was nice to meet you again. <laughs> all right, nice to meet you too. Catch you later, mate. Bye. Okay, see ya. Bye. Three.